Hey, thanks for checking out this video. This is David the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. Today I'm going to talk about something that people use uh, to treat their acne. It's called salicylic acid. And uh, maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, but here you are watching the video. Uh, I'm going to talk about its use as a treatment for acne and uh, if you should or shouldn't do it and the benefits and risks of it. So here we go. First question you probably have is salicylic acid safe? That's what everyone wonders is what you know are the products you're taking is it safe first of all because it's not worth getting rid of your acne if you're gonna have you know cancer or something like that you know everything's risk first reward so does it have side effects that's probably a question you've asked yourself the answer is yes the most common side effects of salicylic acid are burning redness and peeling of the skin so those are the most common side effects okay that most people experience and if you use benzoyl peroxide or proactive or other products with benzoyl peroxide in them uh... you've probably had redness peeling dry skin burning skin you've probably had this too because salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide are both kind of similar in that regard um, there is something called salicylic acid poisoning. Uh, if you get too much of it, uh, you can get severe headaches, rapid breathing, and continuous ringing or buzzing in ears. Um, <laughs> this is me yelling out, stop taking it, or just don't take it in the first place. Uh, I'm not done yet, though, unfortunately. Fortunately, I'm not done. I have to keep going with this list of what salicylic acid can do to you. That's right. Yeah, here we go. And the list doesn't stop there. So when pregnant, most dermatologists don't recommend the use of salicylic acid. Uh, these ingredients haven't been linked with birth defects. Um, it said, while these ingredients haven't been linked with birth defects, personal story real quick, just to interject. My brother was born with birth defects because of Accutane. Uh, you can learn more at AfterAccutane.com. I don't know why they specifically say it hasn't been linked with birth defects, but Accutane did have birth defects, and that was something that was similar, so it just kind of made me skeptical. I don't know. I wouldn't really trust because of that. Um, so, but let's just continue, because uh, they don't rec... This is just weird to me. You, like, you guys have to question this more, okay? When pregnant, most dermatologists don't recommend the use of salicylic acid. Okay, why would they do that if they're not lenient or they may think it may cause birth defects? Just think about it for a little bit. You've got to think about why people lean certain ways and stuff. And I would say that it probably has caused birth defects before just because Accutane has. My brother was born with a birth defect because of Accutane. Uh, so this isn't safe. Don't touch it. That's my personal opinion. Uh, there are better solutions. Uh, one thing that has been linked to as Ray syndrome. Uh, it can kill a person or leave them disabled for the rest of their life. Yeah. Another risk of choosing to use these products is uh, aspirin-induced asthma. Uh, asthma attacks can kill a person. As another risk uh, of aspirin sensitivity. The result of an allergic reaction to aspirin can be death. Uh, if you're allergic to this, it's bad. It's really bad. You could you could die. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I wouldn't trust it. Um, it's the the ingredients of salicylic acid are similar to certain like aspirin, uh, and uh, if if you're allergic to it, that's not good. It's definitely not safe. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust it personally. Um, and one more freaking ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know the risk increased risk of skin cancer. Yep, you might die. You might get asthma. You might be allergic to it, and your skin will start peeling and falling off, but now you might get skin cancer too. Um, from indu increased sensitivity to UV sunlight, uh, skin cancer can be fatal. Yeah, you can, but if you know what you're doing, you can get rid of it. You can uh, use the old, you know, there's quite a few things you can do to get rid of cancer, but I won't talk about that here. Um, hint, don't take it. It's not safe. In fact, this is a huge lesson that I learned in my life and I highly recommend you listen to if you didn't hear anything in this video. This is the most important thing. You shouldn't put anything, and I mean anything, in or on your body. Either way, it's getting in your body because when you put something on your body, it gets in your bloodstream and that's in your body. So you shouldn't put anything in or on your body that has side effects. Why? Side effects mean it is dangerous. It means it's not healthy. It means it's not it's not physiologically meant to be in or on your body. Okay, it's not 
it's not supposed to be there. It's not supposed to come in contact. It's not supposed to be in your environment. Uh, so my question for you is, do apples and oranges have side effects? That's, that's kind of, uh, I hope you know the answer to that question. It's no, they don't because they're natural. So you shouldn't be putting things that are in or on your body that have side effects. That stuff messes with your body in the long run. People, uh, I've heard many times, many times that chemo, you know, the treatment, quote unquote, for cancer, uh, kills people, people faster than the cancer because it's so powerful and it kills all the cells and it just shuts your body down. So if I had cancer, I wouldn't do chemo at all. I wouldn't even think about it. Uh, so moving on, the reason I make these videos is I had acne for five years and I did everything from proactive to clean and clear. Don't use either of those. I have other videos about those. And everything in between to solve the problem and get rid of acne. During that time, I discovered a lot. What I should do, should not do, and what really works fast, and what's really safe and effective. Because that's what's really important. You want to do it safe and effective, but that also works fast. And it, it, it's natural. You can hear my story in a video I recorded similar to this one at AcneRacingSecrets.com. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, the yellow subscribe button now, and visit my site at AcneRacingSecrets.com. Uh, this is David the Skin King signing out. Have an awesome rest of the day. I look forward to hearing your acne erasing secrets testimonial. It's changing lives all the time. We're helping the world get rid of acne one person at a time. Take care.